Research to figure out which types of monkeys could thrive here in Florida the best. <laughs> so he found out that the rhesus macaque monkeys sort of fit the bill for what he was going for. So he ordered a few cases of them from Southeast Asia, about the Philippines area, and brought them out to an island a little bit further down river. And then he left them alone for a few days, only to come back and find that his monkeys had all completely disappeared. Well, there was one crucial thing that Colonel Tui forgot to research about these monkeys. Is if whether or not they have the ability to swim. Well, not only can these monkeys swim, the rhesus macaque monkeys here are excellent swimmers. So as soon as you put them on the map, they all jump in the water. And at this point now, they've been living on their own here in Florida for almost 90 years. Now, for the most part, these guys just kind of hang out within this Ocala National Forest area of Central Florida. We've been given a loose estimate that there's still probably about 500 of these monkeys running around this jungle area alone. But now, you are able to see these monkeys spread throughout the entire state. So 
and they've traveled this far north now is Jacksonville, and as far south as Tampa to catch a hockey game. So, every now and again, they will get out to do some exploring. Typically, these guys do hang out much further down river, so when they do make their way up here, it's a very special place.
Coming right underneath the glass, we're going to find Mammoth Spring. Now, Mammoth Spring is going to be the head spring of the Silver River. The spring head here itself is a cave that's about five feet tall and about 65 feet wide. So because of its big and awkward size right now, you folks on my left are getting the best view of it. But I will spin the boat and make sure everyone's able to get a good look at the spring down here. Now, this spring right here alone is responsible for pushing out over 550 million gallons of water every single day. That number is what makes this spring the largest artesian spring made out of limestone in the entire world. Now the water that is coming out of the aquifer will again maintain a constant temperature of 72 year round. And this water right out of the spring is 99.8% pure fresh water. Now this water is what's forming the Silver River out here which will flow for about five and a half miles until it eventually flows into the Oklawaha River. Once it's in the Oklawaha, it's going to snake its way across the state flowing east. And it's going to go through a dam and a couple lakes and then eventually flow into the St. Johns River over in Palatka. And then from there, the St. Johns River is going to flow due north, through Jacksonville, and into the Atlantic Ocean. And at its very deepest point out here, this spring below us is going to reach about 45 feet in total. Now folks, I do have just one final thing to show y'all before we make our way to the dock. Right around 1967, there was a TV show by the name of I Spy, starring Robert Culp and Bill Cosby. Now, around midway or so through the third season, there was an episode of that show that required an underwater scene with some underwater statues. And these statues are what we are going to be cruising on top of. Water? Now, these three statues down here will represent the Greek gods Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Right now, these are sitting in about 30 feet of water. They each stand roughly seven feet tall. And these are made almost entirely out of fiberglass. <laughs> now, originally for I Spy, there were 12 statues here in total. And when filming was done, they were going to bring them all out of the water. But some of the local people here in Silver Springs put up such a stink that they compromised, so they only took out nine. A three here for our viewing pleasure. <laughs> How nice. After I spot, you can find these three guys here in the James Bond movie Moonraker. Roger Moore performs an anaconda wrestling scene in front of these three guys below us. But aside from Moonraker and I Spy, these three statues in the area all around us here can be seen in tons of other different movies, TV shows.